break from our relationship series to chat about what's happening in Earth School right now. Our planet, our family, our brothers and sisters are hurting, and the world needs you, the world needs light, and I'm going to share with you how you can spread light in the phase of darkness. And I'm going to share a very different perspective on what's happening, so stay tuned. What's up, Freedom Achiever? That is the name one of my clients came up with for herself after doing the work with me. She said she came in as a stressed out overachiever, and now she's a freedom achiever. So welcome to episode number 12 of Create Your Vibrant Life podcast. And in today's episode, you're going to see a side of me that mostly comes out in the privacy of my home and with my clients. It's the Vu side. It's the spiritual side of me. And I wanted to share with you how I deal with chaos in the world because there is chaos right now and there always probably will be chaos. And what I'm going to share with you, you can apply this to your life as well. So welcome to this podcast. And I'm going to invite you to listen with an open mind because there is a lot of sadness, frustration, anger, hopelessness happening right now. And it's so easy to get caught up in it, isn't it? You know, I too am feeling pretty emotional these days, but I have trained myself to not get caught up in it. And I'll share with you more as we go along for today. And here's the thing. It's not specifically about sadness for what's happening for people of color, for for Black people, for George Floyd, or for his family, or the people who've been hurt and whatever is happening in the world right now. My emotions, the feelings I'm feeling, it's like a myriad of feelings, but they're they're the feelings, the emotions of painful growth. It's like I can see the pain that humanity is facing, is experiencing as a whole. And why I do not get caught up in my emotions is because, and this is important and this would apply to you as well, because I want to stay in a higher vibration that will uplift humanity. Anger, sadness, these kind of emotions only bring you down and I want to invite you to stay in a higher vibration. And I'm going to share a poem that my sister wrote. And it will speak to all of you. And I think this is going to apply to so many of us. And it was so profound when I read it, when she sent it to me a few days ago. It was, I think, no, actually it was more than, it was before all of this happened. So I guess she was very tuned in to what was happening. And it really brought tears to my eyes because I think you can all relate to this. So I'm going to invite you to listen to this with your eyes closed if you're not driving. And just open your mind up and listen to this. I disguised my fight under many labels. Justice, feminism, morality. I had to fight for equality, for what was right. And I was armored up for battle. Against no one. For the war was not outside, but within. This battle required no armor, just the gentle lifting away of the whale. And peace, acceptance, and love flowed in. I'm going to read that again. I disguised my fight under many labels. Justice, feminism, morality. I had to fight for equality, for what was right. And I was armored up for battle against no one. For the war was not outside but within. This battle required no armor, just the gentle lifting away of the whale. And peace, acceptance, and love flowed in. Just take it in. 
just take this poem in. And this will apply to pretty much every one of us, no matter what race you are, no matter what color of your skin, no matter which part of the planet, we can all relate to that, can't we? So here's the thing. If you're listening to my podcast, you're probably already one of those people who are who are in the vibration of love and light. Th- those are the people who are often attracted to me. And I'm here to remind you to spread that now. It is vital that you don't get caught up in the happenings of the world. It's vital that you spread your love, your light, because the world needs you. Now, you may or may not have heard the saying, be in the world, not off the world. I think this was in the Bible, if I'm not mistaken. I am not religious and I did not grow up Christian. So pardon me if I coded that wrong. But this is this. I first heard this quote from my mentor, Jim Fortin, and it has stuck with me. Be in the world, not off the world. I used to get so caught up in the happenings of the world and being an empath. If you are an empath, oh boy, you know, right? You know what happens when we are tuned into whatever is happening in the world. It gets so amplified. And I have trained myself. It's a training. It is It is a practice of not getting caught up in it. And why? Because if I get caught up in the happenings and bring my energy down and feel that level of sadness and anger and frustration that everyone is, not everyone, many people are experiencing, I can't be the light that other people can follow right now. And you are the same. You have that light that other people need right now. And now I just hold peace and love in my heart for all. Like that's really how I live my life. And again, it doesn't mean that I don't get upset or angry or frustrated or like I don't have angry outbursts. I'm not a saint and I am not enlightened. (laughs) I'm not Buddha. But what I do is just hold that level of peace and well-being in my heart for every being on this planet. And that will help everywhere that helps in that helps every that will help everyone now you may ask right how do i not fight for justice how do i not fight for my 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 friends friends i get it i really do i really really get it i am a woman of color i grew up in 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 a place where women were not given equal rights. There was so much objectification of women. There was so much discrimination by skin color, by caste, by so many different things. You you can't even imagine. I grew up in a Brahmin household. And if you don't know what that is, just go Google that. You will see what I'm talking about. But I grew up in a culture that was very, very, that just separated everything. And I married a Muslim guy. I mean, if you can't put all the things together, like I'm not going to go into it, but I'm just sharing with you. I know what it is like, but I have chosen a different path and I'm inviting you to choose a different path. You know, I understand the need for justice, but fight and anger will not get us where we need to go right now, which is peace on earth. Fight and anger will not, will not get us to where we need to go. We are in earth school and it is all about learning the lessons for evolution, for personal evolution. When you evolve, you help other people evolve with you. That is the truth. I invite you to listen to the poem again because it will really apply. I re- I I re- burst out into tears when my sister sent this, and she she's an amazing writer, but she's not a poet. And she's like, I don't know where this came from. And I was like, Wow! And um, she said, It's just for you. And then as I was getting all my podcasts ready, I was I texted her asking, Can I just share this with the world because this is so 
helpful right now. We all need to hear that. So what's your takeaway with that? You know, and on a side note, right, with so many things happening, I actually considered for a second to cancel my free relationship boot camp that I was going to start on June 15th because of everything that's going on in the world. And when I talked to my team, um, we all came to the conclusion that the world needs needs this more than ever right now. So many people are struggling. So many relationships are struggling and I want to support them. And so I've decided to keep the boot camp on. It's free. It's available for everybody. It's in my show notes. Please join. And it is really going to help you. I marry a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about in here with more practical trainings and teachings that will help you get to the next place in your relationship. So please join that. All right, let me go here with you guys. This is a little bit off topic, but it's really going to help put all of this together, okay? So I'm going to ask you a question. Do you believe in good and bad? You know, my six-year-old, he's really into good guys and bad guys. Like he's really trying to figure out the world, like what he's trying to figure out what is good, what is bad. He's trying to like find and navigate his way like all children do. And this is what I tell him. And I want to share this with you all as well. I tell him that there is no such thing as a good person and a bad person. We all have good in us and we have bad in us. And the way I explain to him is when we make choices that are uplifting, it's a good choice. It makes me a good person. When I make choices that are poor choices that hurt someone, harm someone with my words or with my, with whatever I do, it makes me a bad person. And it's really hard for him to comprehend. He just can't get it. He just doesn't. And I know, you know, he's in his brain, he's trying to figure that out. But it's not just him. I think a lot of people have a hard time with that. A lot of people do get upset when I say there is no good and bad. They come back to me and say, no, you don't know what happened. You don't know what he did or you don't know what she did. And I'm like, yeah, I understand that. I understand wholeheartedly the injustice that you might have faced. But there is no us versus them. There is no me and you. I know this is so hard probably for a lot of you to comprehend. There is no me versus you. It's all part of the same coin. Can you see that? Can you see that good and bad are just part of yin and yang? It's part of the same thing. Good does not exist without bad. Bad does not exist without good. Light cannot exist without darkness and darkness cannot exist without light. It is part of the same equation. There is only one us. There's only a collective. And if we don't freaking wake up to that, to that knowledge, humanity will perish. Oh my God, it sounds so bleak, but it is the truth. We need to wake up to light. It's a hard truth, especially when you feel like injustice has been done. And I lived so much of my adult years feeling like life was unjust, like things were happening to me and how could this happen to me and why is this happening and all that stuff. But where I am right now, oh my goodness. It's peace. It's peace no matter whatever is happening outside of me. There's peace in my heart no matter what. It's a great place to live. And I want to invite you to live in that place too. Because from that place, so much is possible. So much can change. So much can happen. Okay? If you're not still convinced, that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to invite you to go and read something called Maharishi effect. It's spelled as M A H A R I S H I, Maharishi effect. Maharishi was the founder of transcendental meditation. And in that study that they conducted for many years, it showed that group meditation, which means peace, can significantly reduce 
the homicidal and urban violence crime rates. Not can, that was the study that they did, and that was the results that they found. They found that it reduced the homicidal and urban violence crime rates in that area that they were that they were practicing. Go read up on that. And I'm going to bring this all this back to you. Do what you are called to do in the world. If you want to go protest, go do that. If you want to go write up, you know, blog posts and things like that around whatever you're fighting for, do that. But do it with love. Do it with this passion and do it by being in this world, but not of the world. This message may or may not resonate for you, and that's okay. If it does, I'm so glad. If not, I hope I planted a seed. I'm inviting you to spread love, light, and peace. I sound very hippie, but this is (laughs) where I live from, and this is what I'm inviting you to live from as well. That's what the world needs right now, love, light, and peace. It does not need hate. does not need hate. Yeah, it does not. So I was going to go somewhere else with this, but I'm going to stop this at at this point. I'm going to invite you to share this on your social media channels. Tag me. You, um, you are... You are called upon right now to spread love, love and light. And if my message resonates, please share with your social media, with your with your friends and family. Please subscribe to this channel if you feel called to. And also join the Relationship Bootcamp where I'm going to be weaving a lot of this stuff into that on how you can improve your relationship, especially this is meant for a romantic relationship. But a lot of what I'm going to be talking about, you can apply to any relationship in your life. So that's my invitation to you. And if you have any thoughts, I would love to hear. I would love to hear what your what you what stood out for you and please please share this because so many people need to hear this right now. And I'm so grateful for you. I will be resuming hopefully with <laughs> hopefully everything settles down in the next week. Be resuming more of the relationship stuff content next week but till then be well be safe and be the light that the world needs right now so much love to you all thank you so much for tuning in and listening to this podcast make sure to tag me in instagram at padma ali to share your takeaways from this episode and lastly share with your friends and family so they can also benefit from listening to this podcast for more tips Go on to our website, padmaali.com and connect with me at the next episode. Take care. Bye.